Hey, what's up? Cody Birch here. Today, I want to show you how to set up a product with an order bump and a one-click upsell using my favorite e-commerce tool, SamCart. The first thing I like to do is go ahead and create all of the products. And for this example today, I want to show you how I'm building out my brand new promotion, which is called the Funnel by Friday Bootcamp. It's a paid bootcamp. At this time, I'm thinking about just charging $5. One thing I also do, I'm using Google Chrome here, but I duplicate the tabs a couple times because I want to use some of the other data from other programs and promotions that I have. So for example, on this tab, I'm going to pull up the laminated launch map just to remind myself all of the steps to creating a different product in SamCart. So I've already got the product created in here. I'm gonna go to Funnel by Friday Bootcamp, but I haven't added anything. I just gave it a name. I didn't give it a description yet. I don't need a, a product SKU. And I did uh, add the, the slug there on the URL. I'll make a quick product description. I'll do this stuff later. I wanna show you today the mechanics of actually how to set the products up and how to set up the entire funnel here in SamCart. I'll upload a product image. I might just have to change the price. I need to decide what happens you know, on the order summary I'll configure all that stuff later. For now, this is a digital product. This is gonna be digital. I'm gonna probably send somebody a digital file link. And one of my hacks for doing so is I send people a welcome document and a, it's just a Google document. So that way, whenever they purchase in SamCart on the thank you page, it gives them a link to click and it, I can say, you know, get started here. Don't forget to save often. I just clicked up here and clicked save changes. And real quick definitional check-in, the order bump is the additional thing that they're gonna see on the cart page here. I'll show you this quick preview. This is for my launch maps at codyslaunchmaps.com. Very simple page, nice, image mock-up of what they're gonna be getting. This is a free plus shipping offer. So any of these orange buttons they click, we'll scroll them down to the order section. In this case, I do need their shipping address because I'm actually shipping them their products out. It's only available in US and Canada. And uh, usually I just collect name and email address and payment stuff. Now they can pay with Google Pay, but I did also turn off PayPal here as well. So once somebody types in their credit card info, this is the order bump. This is something that they can add to their order before they check out. So right now the order summary is $6.95 for the free plus shipping maps. If they click that, it'll add it to their order and they can pay with PayPal here as well. So if this is all you have in your funnel, then that's fine. Now the one click upsell is what comes on the thank you page after they click submit or submit order. In this case, I said, send me my maps. So I'm gonna show you how to get this order bump all configured in here and then show you how to get the one click upsell set up as well. Now I don't have uh, a really clear idea at this point of the recording of the video, what I'm gonna make for my order bumps and upsells, but let's make some anyways. So I've got this saved. Uh, I just added the payment information here. So what I usually do, I've done this a bunch. I've got dozens or maybe hundreds of products in Sam cart. I just kind of go through each tab in here. I'll add the upsell later. I'm not going to configure custom emails for integrations. I'm going to eventually add a tag to my CRM to let them uh, to notify uh, me that somebody bought and also to add them to the relevant emails to now consume the thing that they bought. Okay. Under SEO, I'll give it a page title. I'll use the same description of the same picture that I, whenever I upload the SEO feature image and on advanced settings, we'll do some uh, pixel tracking here as well. So let's go ahead and add two new products. So I'm going to click on this orange new product tab. And here's what I'm thinking right now. So my boot camp is going to be a $5 live workshop, and I'm going to teach people how to build out an entire funnel, uh, in the workshop. It's going to be five days long. I'm going to teach list building, Facebook ads, email welcome sequence, stuff like that. So right now I'm going to call it order bump for example. It's an example order bump for YouTube video. I'll go back here later and change the price, but I like a, like a $17 product. Once I know exactly what I'm going to sell, uh, then I'll come back here and finalize everything. I love selling things like um, ad writing workshop. I love selling things like email series. This one is uh, for an ad writing workshop. And then the order bump is get a swipe file of my top ads that I wrote in 2020. Should probably update that for 2021, but that gets a huge take rate. If you go to list uh, builder workshop, that order bump is a Canva list builder template. So in this example, I teach in this workshop how to create a lead magnet basically, or list builder. And then for this one, the order bump is a Canva list builder template. So if you want a custom fancy list builder template, then here's the Canva one that I use. I also offer, I love offering email sequences. So this is a 72 hour email sequence that would go along with people that download your lead magnet. So this is, in this case, I have two order bumps, okay? Uh, let's do one more example, laid back launch workshop. This sales page is in SamCart, but the order form page, I'm sorry, the sales page is in ClickFunnels, but the order form is uh, in SamCart. So as I mentioned, I love launch, I love an email series. So this is an email swipe file. When people are doing a laid back launch, these are the exact email series that I used uh, when I launched my membership back in summer of 2019. And they can click add to order there as well. So these are all order bumps and all really good ideas. But you can see I'm usually charging 17 or $27 or something like that for people to download the uh, or to add the um, order bump to cart as well. So we have this example order bump for the YouTube videos. Let's go ahead and create that product. And the product is made at this point. 
but it's not added anywhere as an upsell. It's not even an option right now. Let's go ahead and hit save changes. And I've got this tab pulled up again, and I'm gonna add an example upsell. OTO stands for one time offer. Okay, and let's just say this is uh, 67 bucks. Similar to the other products I've made now, go through each section on here, upload a picture of the image, that always looks really nice. If you're using the tags feature in Samcart, that's great. If there's a digital file link to access this resource, that's cool. There's, depending on your product, you might need to use Zapier or some kind of native integration that you have through, uh, through Samcart to take it where you need to take it. But for now, let's just, uh, I'll show you how to build out the actual funnel. So in this tab, I have my main product. This is the yeah, Funnel by Friday Bootcamp. And in this tab, I have my order bump. In this tab, I have my example OTO. So what I wanna do now is go to my order bump and I'm gonna make it an upsell, new upsell. Order bump example. Some of the nomenclature, like the wording of how Sam Cart phrases some of the stuff can be kind of confusing, but an order bump is an upsell. A one-click upsell is an upsell. A downsell is an upsell. They call them all upsell. So it's kind of a category of there's normal products and there's upsells. So this is example. So now I found, it's asking me to choose a product to attach to this upsell. So I'm gonna go with order bump, for example, and click create upsell. I can add a quick description. Um, you can choose to show a purchase confirmation. So for example, on a one-click upsell, sometimes depending on what your market is and how familiar they are with one-click upsells, it's polite to add a double, a double click upsell, a two-click upsell, where they can ask, are you sure that you want this? Sometimes you have payment options, I don't in this case. On this next one, let's go back to upsells. This is for the one-time offer. This is the example OTO for YouTube. I'll add the description later and type example OTO for YouTube. So now I've attached this product, the $67 example OTO, one-time offer, to this upsell name, create upsell. Now I'm gonna leave this page up here for a second because I'm gonna treat this upsell as an order bump and this upsell as a one-time offer, okay? So now back on this page, what I'm gonna do is refresh. I wanna make sure it's pulling in the product that's named order bump for example, and add that as an order bump. Make sure to save your changes. A lot of this you can just leave as the default. You can play around with the layout. Do you want it horizontal, vertical, horizontal compact, or do you have a grid? Depending on the number of order bumps you have and how it's arranged. This is a newer feature of the slide in order bump and the footer order bump, but I just usually leave this as default. You can change some of these colors if you want different branding. You can change the container border from none to solid or dashed, left, center, or right alignment, checkbox, or rounded button. You can change the button text. I think add to order is fine. Uh, and then in here, I think it's nice to upload a, a picture. People like to see what they're getting. I found my conversion rates increase when I show people the example of the emails that they're gonna be getting, or if it's an example of a framework they're gonna be receiving. That's always useful here, like on the launch maps example. Uh, all the way down here, they get a glimpse of what's happening with the perfect ad template. So they, can, they can't really read what it is, but they can see that it's a, a layout of a template. And honestly, it might be nice to refresh what that graphic looks like. So you can add the picture. If you have a product image attached to it, it can pull from the already configured product image or you can upload your own. Also take note, there's two different settings here where you can have the image fill or you can have the image fit. And some of these different landing pages you've seen, I've got, let me close this out. This is an example of the, it's kind of an inline image. So it's a headline. Then I put the picture and then you can configure the text here with bold and italics and underscores there as well, okay? So just keep that in mind. You can decide what's the best layout on the left, on the right, on the top, middle, compact, horizontal. Depends on the sales page template you pick and the order bump design that you choose here. I think it's nice to have a description. You can borrow some of this languaging, special offer, get the exact email series I sent that generated 6201 in upfront revenue and 2839 in recurring revenue with no ad spend. Check the box to add this to your order for one payment of 17 bucks. It's nice, right? It's descriptive, it's clear, it's specific. Those are the exact numbers. This isn't like, I made about $6,000. No, it was 6,201. I looked in my merchant account and then that was the amount of recurring revenue each month. So if you can be specific and be detailed, but really only in a sentence or two, then uh, that's nice. You can also configure the strike through price and the languaging around your button. So on here it says, you know, if you wanna check the strike through price, make it 97 bucks or whatever. There's no science to that really. Just make sure it sounds reasonable. And then we can preview the page and see what does this look like? There's nothing up here. I haven't designed the page yet, but I've now got my order bump. There's no picture there because I never made a picture, but I got the strike through price. I've got the graphics like it looks right now and they can add this to their order. Honestly, this page is live enough that if somebody were to type in their credit card information or their Google pay, it would take their money and charge them. Like this would work. This page is now live. Now you can mess with the different configurations just for the sake of the demonstration here. I'm gonna pull in uh, another graphic of something I've made recently, just so you can see what the layout looks like. And then you can just play around with it. So here's the perfect ad template. Actually, let me grab this one. Just see what this looks like. I'm gonna save it. Now that it's saved, let's see what happened here. 
So it zoomed in a bit too far. They recommend you upload a square image. This is a rectangle image with a transparent background, but we can change some stuff. Well, let's not fill, let's fit that image in there. What happens now? So a lot of it is just getting it just right. Now that looks a little bit small. I don't love how that looks. So I wonder if there's a different layout. Let's try a vertical layout. How does that change? Click on save. How does that change the layout now of the way my order bump looks? A little bit better. It's it's visible and you can kind of see it there. But that's just based on this is a rectangle image with a transparent background. So just play around with it however you'd like it to look. Uh, again, this is a more of a vertical image. I designed this in Canva with, with no, like, uh, not a lot of skill or technique really. I just wanted them to get a visual of what they're gonna be getting. These other ones I did a better job possibly, like this is a nicer looking image. It's more easy to see what this is. So now we have a product. That product has an order bump. The format looks fine. You can play around with it and a lot of saving changes and previewing back and forth. Now it looks way too small, can't even see what it is. So I'm just gonna go back for this example, back to the horizontal look and click on save changes. The next thing we need to do is create an upsell funnel. So this, the first two parts happen on the same page. There's a product and that product has an optional order bump. We need to create a one click upsell for people who buy the first product, whether they add the order bump or not, we wanna make them another offer where they can just click a button and add it to their order. Yes, Samcart can do upsells and downsells and cross sells and stuff like that. It can get kind of complicated. For the most part, I try to create a nice buyer experience and create a great offer with a great order bump and then one more thing to potentially buy on the back end. I don't love taking people through a long series of upsells and downsells, but run your business however you would like to run your business. So the next part, now that we've created our upsells, remember our order bump is an upsell and our one-time offer is an upsell, we need to go into funnels and let's create a new funnel. I'm gonna call this the funnel by Friday boot camp funnel. Now I'll change the products around, but I actually do want this funnel. Okay, so here's the funnel. Now any product added to this funnel will now start to see these offer one, offer two, offer three, offer four, offer five. So the upsell we need to select is the example OTO for this YouTube video that I'm filming right now. Now I'm gonna click save. So now I've made the funnel. The funnel's pretty simple. It just shows them one product and they can choose to buy it or not. So now I'm gonna go back to this upsells because I wanna take a look at the product I just made. And unlike the order bump, this is where you're gonna actually customize the one-time offer. What does this need to look like? What needs to happen on this product? Now I've saved some templates in the past. Let's see if we can find one that looks decent. OTO template, one hour ads course. Let's just see what this looks like. I know you don't have these in your account, sorry, I'm not trying to, not trying to flex on you here, but this is what this looks like. So not so fast. Want to learn how to master an entire ad campaign? Yes, I'm talking the campaign objective, targeting, budging, scaling, and creative. Click the orange button to add the one hour ads course to your order for just $67 today. Uh, after this class, you'll get access to, this is a one-time offer when people bought my ad writing class. This was more about how to run ads. So do you want to set up audiences and targeting and scaling and budgeting and stuff like that? Got a nice little 3D image of what they're going to be getting. And then they add to order just 67 bucks, okay? So this is a, a good example, I think of a one-time offer page. I'm gonna click publish, and now I'm gonna go back over to the products and just make sure everything's added to the right funnel. So you just need to add the front, the top product to your funnels. So let me go ahead and refresh this because we just made a new funnel. And the funnel was called, I always forget what I name things. I need to write these down and be more consistent. The funnel's called Funnel by Friday Bootcamp Funnel. A lot of funnel words. So go to upsells, and then we need to add the Funnel by Friday Bootcamp Funnel. So now here's what's gonna happen. This product is available to be purchased. And when they buy it, it'll show them that one-time offer. So let's take a look at the page and I'm gonna do one more thing. Well, let's put it back in test mode. It's in test mode. Let's use this credit card to check out. There we go. Hey, what's up, Cody Birch here, congratulations. So now that's working and we can add this to our order. We can click no thanks, I don't need this right now. So we have our product, we have our order bump, and now we have the correct one-time offer showing on the thank you page. So that's how you do it. Quick recap, first off, create all your products, the main product, your order bump product, and your one-time offer product. Then you add your product you intend to be an order bump and your one-time offer as upsells, create a simple funnel in SamCart. You add your one-time offer to the funnel, and then you go back to the very beginning and you add your initial product, which acts as a trigger. You add that to your funnel that you just created. I know there's a lot of steps. You can rewatch the video as much as you want. And if you have any questions, comment below.